Hello everyone, welcome to this week's NWF Tech Tip Thursdays. So for today, I'm going to be showing you guys a new tool that we have recently added. Uh, it's going to allow us to punch holes uh, through our rotated studs. So this panel that I currently have right now has a few rotated studs. Um, I've added some blocking uh, horizontals and I also have a whole series created. Now for all these options, um, feel free to look at some other tech tips or to reach out if you need help setting this up, but uh, these are all found in your miscellaneous tab. So the horizontals here that you can add, um, the extra studs right here. So I've added three of them. This is the setup that I use for today, uh, obviously with different offsets. You can also use the repeat modify if you want. And the last thing would be the hole series. So I've created a round hole. Uh, and then we're going to be using the vertically spaced uh, option. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this uh, this setup here, which we're going to get holes punched through the studs that are not rotated. So if I hit OK, okay, as you see. So obviously, uh, as I mentioned, uh, these got ignored now. Okay, so this is what the new option is going to come in handy for. So we're going to head back into the tool for the whole series. And we're going to change a few things. So the option here, uh, only punch rotated studs and punch rotated studs in the uh, orientation direction uh, is what uh, was added. So I'm going to update this one here. Um, because my studs, as you can see, are on the outside of my panel, uh, I'm going to put a minus two inch uh, depth. So it's going to go and recognize that there's uh, the stud here. And I'm going to also do punch rotated stud. Uh, this is what's going to allow it to actually kind of rotate that, that line that's drawn through the member. I'm not going to do the only punch right now. So I'm going to hit update, save, and OK. Now we're going to notice something too on the studs that were not rotated uh, that we probably don't want. The, the lines are now drawn on the on the very edge, which is obviously um, probably not what we want uh, for this uh, scenario. But we see here, as I mentioned, the line is drawn in the uh, rotated studs direction. Um, so we're going to go fix the fact that these are also showing up. So we're going to go back in under the whole series. And that's what the option uh, for only punch rotated stud uh, would be used for. So we would have to put two rules if you're trying to get the entire panel um, punched. So I'm going to update this one. I'm going to make sure that my minus two inch is still there. We're going to do only uh, rotated studs as well as the direction update. And then I'm going to add uh, the one that I initially had just for the, the studs that are placed uh, in the panel's direction. I'm going to do save, hit OK, and this should give us the scenario that we were looking for. Correct, so these are centered, centered, okay, as well as uh, I had the option turned on for the rotated studs to be cut at horizontal, so it respects the entire, um, the entire panel. Okay, so with this done, uh, that'll be it for this week. Uh, if you guys need any hand setting this up, feel free to uh, write to us in the comment section for the video or just to reach out to the uh, tech support line.